Hi and welcome to Alexanor. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to enable anti-x-ray on your Minecraft server to prevent players from cheating. We'll go through two methods, one being the PaperMC built-in x-ray settings, another being an external plugin which I'll be showing you later in the video. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is make sure the server is running on PaperMC or a fork of PaperMC. So you can just go to the versions tab over here and you can just download one from here. So you have to just select paper and you have to download one from here. So you have to do that. But if your server is already on PaperMC, you can just go to the file manager, go to the config folder, open the paper world defaults.yml and the first thing you'll see is for the anti x-ray. So pretty much what you need to do is you just need to enable it over here so you can change it to true. And now I'll explain to you on what engine mode is. So the difference between engine mode 1 and engine mode 2 is, in engine mode 1, it removes the overs from the x-ray. So it's basically a simple illusion where when you try to x-ray, it doesn't let you see any overs. So it hides most of the overs. So that's how engine mode 1 works. But when it comes to engine mode 2, it actually adds fake overs. So that's the difference between engine mode 1 and engine mode 2. In engine mode 2, basically uh, it could replace stones or anything else with fake ores so there could be like uh, an iron ore and some stone around it and it could just fool you by replacing the stone to coal so that's how engine mode 2 works and when you come down here you'll find hidden blocks over here so you can actually uh, add the list of hidden blocks here which you would like to hide so this can be used by both engine mode 1 and engine mode 2 to either add fake ores or to hide the ores so that's that's how it works and the replace blocks actually works in a way that uh, in engine mode 2 uh, when it creates fake ores it's going to replace these three blocks with the fake ores and do remember that uh, if the ores are exposed to air in a cave or such then they're not going to be hidden uh, they won't be affected because they can be viewed by anyone only ores that are inside enclosed with stone or stuff only those would either be hidden or would be surrounded with fake ores So now, if you prefer a plugin, there's an alternative for that. So this plugin is a little bit hard to pronounce, so I'm not gonna pronounce it. But this is a plugin which you can use as an alternative to PaperMC's built-in system. So you can just scroll down and look for the requirements. So as you can see, it actually requires Java 17 uh, and it can, it can work on spigot, paper or any fork. And you're gonna need Protocolib, so let's just download that. And once you're done downloading that, you have to download both the plugins actually. And it's actually going to take you to a github page so just click download over here and then go back to file manager and just make sure you open the plugins folder and you can upload both the jars over here so i guess the other one is taking a bit of time to load you can just go to the console page and click restart over here and it's going to restart the server so i'll be back once it's started so as you can see the minecraft server has successfully started and you can just type the pl command to check if both the plugins are loaded so now it's pretty much going to be straightforward when you use the anti x resource pack in the Minecraft server, there, there's going to be a lot of fake ores. And on something additional, there's actually a document over here which you can just access. So you can find it on the plugin page over here. So everything is explained here properly. So I don't really need to explain much, but I'll just go through over the overview for you. So you can just go to the file manager over here and then go to the plugins folder and open the plugin responsible for the anti x ray and open config.yml. And the first thing that I'm going to show you is actually ignore spectator. So I would recommend you enable this so that uh, if you have staff who is trying to anti x-ray with a spectator mode, uh, it doesn't affect them and they are actually able to see the real ores. So, so you can just ignore it like that. And then you can even scroll down and you'll see that there's uh, some particular features where it actually lets you config for separate worlds. So this being overworld and then there's nether below. So here, as you can see, you can even edit for nether and then you can even edit it for end so there's like separate configs for uh, each world so you can do that as per your wish uh, you can of course like uh, edit here so for example if it says overworld let's say you have another world called earth so now both these worlds will be applied to the plugin and there's even like a minimum y and maximum y so you probably know what this is uh, it's actually the up and down distance so that's the uh, values over here of course if you want to disable this let's say you only want anti x ray to work in uh, nether and the end so you can leave the below configs as it is and just disable it over here generate any fake ores when you're trying to mine with an x-ray resource pack in the overworld so that's pretty much it with either methods you can effectively stop x-rays on your minecraft server
If you found this helpful, drop a like and subscribe for more similar videos. See you soon.